Hi guys, we've got plenty of requests for an update to um, what uh, smartphone apps can be used to measure power. There's a few out in the market there and um, I gathered together as many as I could find both on Android and iOS and I've tested them. I've tested them and compared them against what I use. It's called a quantum sensor here. Um, these are about $500 plus. Um, this is the Apogee SQ500. It has the uh, cosine corrected uh, light capture here, which means it can um, read light coming at it from <coughs> all different angles, which is useful in the grow environment because there's light being reflected off walls and coming at, um, at the uh, canopy from lots of different directions. And also it has a very good response. So you can see here in the graph that it is able to measure uh, power accurately right across the power spectrum from 400 to 700 nanometers. So this is the benchmark, the Apogee SQ500, and I've tested it against two light sources. One is just a pure white light, mid-color temperature, this is LED now, mid-color temperature, so 3.5K color temperature, and uh, also a white plus red, so that's where you have a mid-color temperature white LEDs with the red diodes. You see that little spike on the um, spectrum chart. I've only done LEDs. I've only done these uh, spectrum. Um, I haven't included HPS or any other, and I'm not going to do an update on that, sorry. Um, there's just too many variables there. But I do believe the app that I've chosen is accurate for lots of other spectrum. And I put a link in the video to um, Growing Answers, a channel run by Ryan there, who did a similar test to this and tested the app amongst um, different spectrum and found it to be accurate again against the uh, SQ500 sensor. So good reference point there and thanks for Ryan for that video. It's very good. Please check it out. So uh, there were three apps available on Android. Um, by the way, I used a Samsung um, S20 phone uh, to take the readings and I used them at the settings in brackets on the graph. So there is light sensor to PPFD and I chose the CMH3100 spectrum. There was no LED spectrum in, in, the, in the options. I picked Tent Buddy and I picked LED 3000K color temperature, which is close to 3.5K. 3500k and I used PPFD meter and again uh, 3000k spectrum was chosen and then separately the only one different one that I could find on iOS or PPFD meter I could find on iOS was Photon previously known as um, what was it known as Corona with a K they might have changed that for obvious reasons last year but so Photone, uh, iOS, iPhone 12, it was tested on, and LED full spectrum was the option chosen. And let's look at the white graph first. So white LED, 3500K. You can see the blue line there is the Apogee sensor. So measuring increases in intensity, I measured at 150, 300, 450, 600, 750, uh, 900 and 1050 micromoles, so six different readings. And I compared the benchmark Apogee quantum sensor against the app. Um, you can see for the, uh, the blue line is the Apogee line. You can see the yellow, green and sort of orangey red ones there. The three Android ones were way off and drifting, so not particularly useful. But the Photon one was excellent. Uh, really stayed very close in line there. Um, just a note, when using the Photone app, you, uh, we used um, you use a, a diffuser, paper diffuser over the, the front camera. So I just used a piece of paper. It's 80 GSM white paper. That's 80 grams per square meter. I'm not sure what the US equivalent is, but you can check it up. It's basically the lightest printer paper you can get. And um, yeah, incredibly accurate results on the three and a half uh, a 3500K um, light source. I then tried it with the white plus red, the red spike, and again, the Android ones were not particularly uh, accurate and were drifting. 
but the um, photon one was excellent, uh, staying pretty much in line. There's a slight um, adjustment. They don't have a selection for the for the plus red um, or the added red uh, diodes, um, and it seems that they're not reading them in their um, when taking a reading. They're not taking it into account that spike in the red. So in order to correct that with the, again a mid color white. Um, LED with some red with a red spike. If you add 10% to the reading you get on the Photon app, it should be accurate. And any guys use an Android? I know this is disappointing. There doesn't seem to be an, a, uh, an accurate one. But um, next video following up soon, we'll have a good hack solution for you, which is to use uh, a number or a, uh, a selection that I've made of. Um, fairly cheap and affordable lux meters from Amazon, so in the sort of 20 to $40 range. And uh, you can use these to take accurate readings. Again, I've, I've, um, I've calibrated them against the Apogee SQ500 sensor and found a very accurate one, um, again, for about $40, so a lot less than $500. Um, and then in another video following that, I'm gonna show you how to use these apps to set up your light um, to optimize your lighting setup. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't so you get the updates. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. As, you, as always, any comments, please leave them in the, the um, uh, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.